Highbridge Audio presents The Last Good Man by A. J. Kaczynski Read by Simon Vance Original material copyright 2012 A. J. Kaczynski Recording copyright 2012 Highbridge Company Recorded by arrangement with Scribner, a division of Simon & Schuster, Inc. Two Notes to the Reader The myth mentioned in this novel about God's righteous men stems from the Jewish Talmud, a collection of religious texts set down in Israel and Babylonia, which, according to the Jewish faith, is a direct transcription of what God said to Moses. One of the things God said was that there will always be thirty-six righteous people on earth. These thirty-six protect all of us. Without them, humanity would perish. The thirty-six do not know that they are the chosen ones. On September the 11th, 2008, at the United Nations headquarters in New York, and under the leadership of Dr. Sam Pania, the world's largest scientific conference on near-death experiences was held. The objective was to discuss the growing number of near-death experiences that are reported each year from around the world. These are reports of people who have been revived, and afterward have described the most unbelievable phenomena, things that science cannot explain. Part 1. Book of the Dead O earth, cover not thou my blood, and let my cry have no place. Job chapter 16 verse 18 People die all the time, often in hospitals. For that reason it was a brilliant plan, simple, almost banal. All the near-death experiences that the doctors heard about would be verified. But how? In the emergency rooms, of course. Because there was a pattern to what people described, those people who had been declared clinically dead, people who had stopped breathing and whose hearts were no longer beating. They floated upward. They hovered near the ceiling and looked down on themselves. They were often able to describe details that their brain couldn't possibly have invented in the last throes of death how a doctor had knocked over a vase, what he or she had shouted to the nurses, who had come into or left the room and when. Some people could also recount what was happening in the room next door. Even so, it was not considered scientific evidence. But this situation was now going to be rectified. Emergency rooms, intensive care wards and trauma centres, the places where people were most likely to be revived, would be recruited. As part of a worldwide investigation, small shelves were installed. Sample complete. Ready to continue?